Live from Studio 2A in Pix Plaza, this is the Pix 11 News at 5 with Tamsin Fidel and John Muller. Well, a big news update right now on the high school football player who was caught on camera ripping off his opponent's helmet, then cracking him on the head with it. You see the video. The player wasn't kicked out of the game, though, last Friday. Tonight, though, he's being kicked off the team. Pix 11's Narmi Chaudhary live in Linden, New Jersey, with more information about this player. Narmi. John and Tamsin, a bit of an update for you. I just got off the phone just minutes ago with the Linden Police Department. They tell me that witness statements and evidence pertaining to this investigation has now been handed over to the Union County Prosecutor's Office. It is now that office's decision as to whether or not charges will be brought against this 18-year-old senior. The video and the actions in it are shocking. High school football players under the Friday night lights in New Jersey, and then this. Linden High School player Fritz Monsion rips off his opponent's helmet, then hammers the Immaculata player in the head with it. The victim was taken to Morristown Hospital, where he had to get 10 stitches. Monsion, the 18 year old responsible, now removed from the high school football team and suspended. We showed the video to sports psychologist Leah Lagos. I saw someone who was having difficulty with emotional regulation and acted out. The act, the aggression, the inability to control themselves and unfortunately among school-aged athletes is becoming all too common. Take for example these recent incidents in Texas showing more athletes acting out on the field. Football players or athletes of any age need some type of training to learn to control their emotions under pressure. And where does that training come from? Is it instituted by the coaches? Is it enforced by the athletic department? And when do they do it? Lago says she sees athletes as young as seven years old, and she believes they all need to be trained at early ages as soon as they get involved in organized sports. In this New Jersey case, it's unclear if such a training even exists. Both schools issued statements expressing their disappointment over what happened. As for the disciplinary action handed down by the Linden School District, despite Monsion being a high school senior and clearly being hyped for the game, as evident from this post on his Facebook page just a day before the big game, Lago says the punishment is not too harsh. You don't set standards for what happens when kids behave in this manner. We're going to see a series of behaviors like this. It is important to mention that this video evidence was handed over to the police department, the Linden Police Department, days after the game by Immaculata School officials. They say they felt it was important to bring it to their attention, also bring it to school officials' attention here, which is why so many days have passed since the game and that incident. And again, Linden Police Department spending the day today collecting evidence, talking to witnesses, gathering statements, all of that evidence now in the hands of the Union County Prosecutor's Office. We are live in Linden, New Jersey. Narmeen Chaudhry, PIX11 News. All right, Narmeen, thank you.